what exactly are we doing here? Are we helping, loving, serving? Are we tangibly carrying out God's mission on earth? The world muddles through an economic crisis. Millions have no jobs at all. And millions more wake up each morning wondering if their job will still exist. And churches raise more money for yet another building and put on an even better rock show than the week before. The U.S. and Syria are on the brink of war and hundreds of thousands of lives are at stake. And the church? We worry about the results of the next political election, hoping the new regime will align more closely with our views on homosexuality. Our neighbors struggle in their marriages. They lose parents and spouses and children to cancer. They suffer from depression and anger and loneliness. They look for some way to numb the pain. And the church yawns and bickers and turns a bit farther inward and shields itself from anyone outside its walls. We're losing young people in droves. Most congregations are shrinking. And the ones that aren't shrinking are just siphoning people from other churches. And still, we fight over tiny differences in theology. Churches splinter over and over again into smaller and smaller factions. And we angrily tell each other why only our faction is right. Is any of this compelling? Does the church have anything left to offer? Do you wonder what God thinks of all this? Listen to these words from Isaiah 1. Quit your worship charades. I can't stand your trivial religious games. Monthly conferences, weekly Sabbaths, special meetings, 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 meetings. I can't stand one more. Meetings for this, meetings for that. I hate them. You've worn me out. I'm sick of your religion, 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 while you go right on sinning. When you put on your next prayer performance, I'll be looking the other way. No matter how long or how loud or how often you pray, clean up your act, learn to do good, work for justice, help the down and out, stand up for the homeless, go to bat for the defenseless. Devastating, one Old Testament passage nails just about every single thing that's wrong with the church today. But you know what? It does offer a way forward. Love, serve, do justice, help, do good, stand up, advocate. Dear church, I love you. I still have hope for you. And I know the world needs you. Let's choose a better path together.